guys it is thursday child a lot going on today um jb and them are having the first of many oh girl around the festive times they start having all these events at school one thing after another so um but honestly i come to find out that it depends on the teacher i didn't know that and i like that so they're having a party today um, they're having a pizza party and the only reason why I am showing up is because JV doesn't eat pizza and so that he doesn't feel left out I'm gonna get him something to eat and just take it up to the school you know something hot I could literally pack him a cold lunch but all the other babies are gonna be having hot food so get him some hot food I'm also in the middle of the reveal I gotta get that done um child <laughs> last last year doing this Halloween uh, I felt um, what I was gonna say, uh, they get to dress up at school today and one of JB's good friend that's actually in his classroom, they don't celebrate Halloween either and so he didn't dress up. And he was okay though because if he's never participated in it, he was okay. And I told him, I said, it's okay, JB doesn't have on anything. JB had on a blockbuster sign. He had on his school uniform, so it looks like JB's not dressed up either, which is good. And so the little boy was like, yeah, I got my um, candy at church. <laughs> He's like, oh, my candy at church, I'm, I'm okay. I said, good. I said, look, next year you and JB will both be up here with no costumes on, so it's, it's okay. Yeah, it's really busy today, really busy at work because I'm the only one working. Christine took off. I don't know why her ass took off today, of all days. Um, no, we discussed, her and I discussed taking off more days during the year, especially when it's busy. And the thing is, you guys, when you work from home, you actually work more hours than someone who goes into a traditional office. And they expect that and they know that. On um, the same time, it's really important that, you know, when you work from home to have a schedule and so that you're not overworked. Cause there was a time a couple of years ago where I was getting overworked and I had to take a leave because it was, yeah, anyway. Y'all this hair. <laughs> Let me turn my ratchet music down. <laughs> um, finish with, yeah, excuse that background. Finish with JB school stuff. Oh, child, what happened? I don't see how most teachers do it. After an hour and 20 minutes, I was done. I was like, <laughs> this was fun, but no. Yeah, why? Hold on. Isn't it pretty, y'all? It's really pretty like this. I think I'm gonna review, I was gonna wash my hair, but it's too damn, look at that. It's too, <laughs> it's too pretty to be washing. So I just did the review of the Blue Magic and I'm gonna do something that you're really not supposed to do. I'm gonna do another review on this hair, but my hair doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel weight it weight down so i think i'm going to do um the echo style gel i'm gonna review that i'm not gonna do a wash and go excuse me y'all is it focusing there we go i'm not gonna do a wash and go i'm gonna do flat twists on this hair um this blown out hair still y'all this man i'm about to put my stuff in the crock pot for this dude and this is late because it's almost two o'clock this stuff should have been in the crock pot at at noon <laughs> Our favorite place is the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah, I come here for at least once a week. Uh, why not? Okay, David, I'm gonna have to get you one craft so we can keep up with the crafts when you're off. Um, I know I was thinking about getting one of those for your teacher when I make the treats but I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for her. I think I'm gonna do an emergency kit, a teacher emergency kit. Um, Sleighables ring, all you listening in the last night's case. Uh-oh, pick that up. You know, I'm gonna already start Y'all, I, I I don't know how to wrap presents. We're gonna have problems. I do. JB, you can't wrap your own presents. I should put everything in the gift bag. All right. What is that? Mm, I don't think so. 
<laughs> Let's get some index cards. Yeah. 200. Crafts all the way down here. Crafts bottle, crafts. I, sh I think I got some glue sticks. Crafts squares, felt. Oh, and they have some washi tape over here, liquid adhesive, glitter. Baby, don't do that. I am always amazed when people do those Dollar Tree. Some of this stuff I would never do. Like I saw someone that uh, did their floors with Dollar Tree contact paper. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we could no, not if you're no, not if you're trying to invest in your house that putting Dollar Tree wallpaper or contact paper down on the floor, no. Um, but doing like DIY stuff like refurbishing a dresser or something, something that you can that's yours, okay. Stuff like this. I got stuff here for um decorating uh, what did I do? For my she room. Yeah. I thought I heard your baby. Oh my god! Again, <laughs> I, like, girl. Look, I thought I heard your baby. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. She's we getting love, so we big. I'm not gonna put you on camera. Hi, oh. baby. Hi. She's so You're pretty. Blogging? Yeah, I'm blogging. Really? Yeah, I won't put you on cam though. All right, we are done, y'all. Making a few runs. Look, I was telling the lady in the store. I go there a lot. So they, they know me my name. So I'm like, you know, time is speeding up. I said, I, well, I'll, well, let me back up. I said, I can't believe that we are in November already. She's like, I know. I said, what well, time is speeding up? I remember, look, the first time I had an awareness that time is speeding up, I remember it clear as day. I was at Foster Middle School waiting for the bus. It was the end of eighth grade, summer. And I was waiting there and I said, time is speeding up. I can't believe I'm going to high school. Time is speeding up. That was like in 1994. I, I had that revelation. Time is speeding up. So I told her, I said, time is speeding up. I said, and this is scriptural. She said, absolutely. You know, God will make the day shorter. Um, I said, you sure are right, Miss Vera? It's making the day shorter. And she's like, and people don't even realize it. I said, they sure don't. I need to go home, get some work done. What do you do with this? And... Mm. Why do you do it? They are so good. Mm. What is it? Eli? I can't be eating these chips. You want? Cause you want to know why I see this? And because I'm a snacker, I don't eat all of it. Yeah, chips all up in my glove department. Department, girl, glove compartment. You see? When I get home, I'll probably throw those all away. I rarely eat an entire bag of chips. I just don't. Um, so I had three or four of those. So y'all, JB is home with me today. It is what it is. I felt a little bad about yelling at him. So he's gonna be home. He needs a break from all the hustle and bustle of it all. He needs a break, so. Mama, what <clears> is this? I thought you knew what it was. Let me show y'all what I got real quick and then we're gonna go ahead and go home. I got this little container to house JB's index cards. I'm gonna start um, this weekend. I'm gonna spend some time time and organize all of the supplemental homeschooling stuff. Do it again, because it changes you guys. It changes every other, yeah. So I got these two photos, pictures, for our master bathroom. Aren't these cute? I got some cleaning stuff, some index cards, again, for JB. What I'm gonna start doing, cause he's still not passing his phonogram test and his spelling test. So, one of the things that I started two weeks ago is as soon as he gets his list of questions, excuse me, list for spelling, I put them all on here. And we do it at least three to four times a week. Now, unfortunately, today he is missing um, he will be missing um, the spelling test. But look, we have December, January, February, March, April, May. We have six months to get my baby back up to where he needs to be. And I think, I, I know we're going to be able to do it. I got a craft for JB for when he's home doing the uh, winter break. I got him a sippy cup. Here you go, baby. Yeah, I'll keep this for you till we go home, okay? Um, Some alcohol for my prepping what? supplies. Rubbing alcohol. And some cleaning supplies. And that is it. We're going to go ahead and go home. Thank you. Oh, 
Lord, Chai wasn't even recording. I wanna go here. Come on, show them, now show them your tooth. Show them your loose tooth. He's just a baby also. He got a, a loose baby tooth. In the front now. So cute. Now, how many more teeth you got the loose? He's only lost two teeth. Oh, okay, sweetheart. And I got him an amber necklace. Amber necklaces, people think that they're only good for babies, but really, if your children are losing teeth, at this age, even adults use amber necklaces, so. So y'all, um, JB's currently behind my back. I, I have a craving for fish tacos. Yeah, I can eat tacos every week. Y'all already know this about me. I... What you say is so funny. I'm talking about tacos. <laughs> what? You are silly. So what if they what if they say um, Santa's gonna come bring me my my presents? What are you gonna say? I would say. Uh, can, you, can, you, can you stop jumping? Uh, his his big butt can't fit. Okay, okay, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> JV, we gonna say, oh, that's nice. That's all you say, okay? Okay. You don't let them know. Yeah, I'm short. I'm so short. <laughs> I usually sit up like this when I'm recording in here, but. JB on his past life thing, child. JB, JB will get into a tangent where he talks about the olden days. And whenever he talks about the olden days, he speaks with a Southern accent. It is absolutely hilarious. So, he's talking about he was in some other country. I be listening. Cause the baby's mind has been tainted yet, so I'll be listening. Oh Lord. <laughs> you wanna you wanna speak to them about your other lives? Here, I'll put the camera in here so you can give so you you can interview them and let them know about your previous previous life. Like what house? This is this is a this is a sprinkle of imagination flowing. Go ahead, baby. Talk to them about your This previous. is not imagination. This is not imagination. Okay, baby. Go ahead, baby. Let me zoom in on you so they can see you. So. Hold on. When I looked to this house, I was by myself. But this was a long time ago, so I didn't get knocked, get knocked at all. So, oh uh, yeah. So, oh. So. You moved out the island? So you were living on an island? Yeah. And this was in another country, you said? Yeah. Interesting. Where part of the world was this that do you know? So, it was like this like, like really small island. And like, there was like, like, like it was like the houses were really old. So like gates, like the gates like this, shaped like this. Shaped like what? Like this. You have a vivid imagination. It is not imagination. This is real. So, clearly the actual ship was a boat. It's called boat ships. So. Oh, so you were on a boat? Yeah. So, so you were a pirate? No. I was alone. So I, don't, I didn't have no way or, or like pack clothes or something. I just had just like clothes. So I stayed my way, 
I just, I, I, so it was like a canoe. So I was like, so what you? I was like saying like, I was like, like, oh, uh, like, like this. You were using a con oh, so were you your same skin tone in this yeah, other life? Were yeah. you black? Yeah, you were black. Just exact same. You had that exact type of skin. Were yeah. you darker or lighter? Uh, I'm just this guy now. Oh, you're the same color you are now. The reason why I ask is that I've had dreams where I'm other people. So let me ask you: uh, Did you speak English? Yes. But I didn't talk that much. You didn't speak that much? It's so cool. Forever 21, excuse a lot of music. Baby, over here. But Forever 21 is a hit or miss. Most of the clothes and outfits are trash. Like, what year are we in? all up in the, in the camera it's Friday morning it's 4 46 look just when I was gonna stop drinking coffee I got a request from um, I kind of did a, a review for the Kona press it's a French Kona press and the guy contacted me again he's like Vivian would you be willing to you did this for me a couple of years ago could you review a coffee grinder for us. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna put it in my blog. One of my upcoming vlogs, Bill, go ahead and send it to me. Yeah, I have a sweet spot for people who I've done stuff before. If I've done a review for you before, I kind of feel bad if I say no. So, went ahead and said yeah. So, um, that's my last set of uh, ground coffee, but I'm kind of glad because I can get some coffee beans and it's just much fresher when you grind it yourself. Anyway, it's Friday. Um, yesterday was a bust for us, meaning the day was just done. The night before, my husband comes in and, like, doesn't necessarily slam the door, but he opens the bedroom door kind of rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I say that because my husband is the most peaceful, even when he's mad, I have, I have never really heard him yell. He's a very, very calm person. So... So long story short, his battery died at work and baby, I was asleep, you know, and we, I went to bed at 10. Normally he's home by 10, 20. I went to bed at like 9, 50. And so I was in deep REM sleep till he got home. He had to end up taking an Uber home. I was, I felt so bad. I stayed up with him. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I was asleep. <laughs> so yesterday we were running around all day to get him a new battery and it was because of how his car was his his truck is at work in the garage in a crazy spot so the first tow truck couldn't even get to it that was eight o'clock in the morning yesterday we couldn't get the second tow truck to come until noon yesterday so i'm running around taking him there coming back take and Amongst all of this, I had to go pick up JB, figure out how to cook dinner. He's like, I can order some pizza, you know. I'm like, no, I already started. I had already started dinner. I'm saying, no, it's okay. Work was crazy. Work is still crazy. So, yeah, yesterday was done. I was supposed to have recorded two hair videos yesterday. No, my hair is still dirty. So, today I need to really focus on getting some work done. I'm waiting for this man to call me back. I just sent him a message. Um, our oven is being delivered today. 
uh, because of that, I'm picking up JP a little bit early because I don't want them. Um, it's between two to six and I gotta pick him up by three. So I told his teacher I'll pick him up a little bit early. JB is kind of doing better in school. I know that it takes, especially at this age, it's gonna take a little while for him to get back on track. It's not like a snap of the finger. So for homework, he's doing way better for homework. I will say that as far as his attitude and actually sitting down and do it. One of the things that helps is that I, I let him know we're not going anywhere on the weekend. All this going to Chuck E. Cheese's and, you know, even just to a store, you know, that's a reward. You need to sit your little butt down and do your homework when you're told. And if you could do that, then, you know, I, then you would be rewarded by going with me to Albertsons. <laughs> so that seems to be helping. So, yeah, the oven's been delivered today. So my hair, I'm washing my hair today. I'm going to review a DIY deep conditioner and then I am going to do a wash and go. Cause I Our stove was delivered, delivered, delivered. Um, this is a Whirlpool, five eyes with a, look, you can see the red up underneath with a warm burner, very simple. Look, I cook a lot. I don't need nothing too, too fancy smancy. Just a basic stove. It was on sale. I got it for like 600, which was, it was originally like 750 750 almost 800 actually so and i got it like for six 650 or so open up the yeah so we're gonna be making some snickerdoodles i did order a pizza last night because i'm like we i wanted our old stove to be cool when they take took it away so yeah my mission and goal i'm all up on the camera girl my mission and goal is to go to uh church this morning um because i haven't been in months yeah it's been a long time. Yeah, I need to order some refills online. Look, I'm so, I'm a baby boomer stuck in a generational order. One of my Gen, Gen X, Gen Y body. I didn't start doing this online prescription stuff till this year, because I, I still don't trust it to a certain degree. It's Sunday. My goal is to go to church. Um, hopefully we can get there, but let me tell you, I am tired. Yesterday was one of the worst days for me as a parent. Um, and I think it's important to show these sides of being a parent because there's so many vloggers where you see them out at the pumpkin patch drinking pumpkin spice lattes and picking out sweaters together and shit. Yeah, I know. You know, most of the people who watch me, actually, your kids are, are older. You know how it could be. But yesterday for me, especially since my husband was at work, and it was just me by myself. It was just horrible. And it wasn't just one incident. JB was acting crazy the entire day. And I mean, like, crying. You know that whining, crying because he can't get what you want. That, that BS. And I, y'all, sorry, excuse my language, but I was, I'm still, I'm trying to come down off of it, still. Because it didn't stop until I literally put him to bed. It's, he, he was so tired, he, he fell asleep early. And it started in the morning time. It continued all throughout the afternoon and the evening. And I did everything. I spanked him, I took things away. What, what works with Jamie typically is when I take things away. I took so many things away. I have no idea where I did with some of this stuff. I mean, I was at a loss for words. I literally, like around four o'clock, four freaking p.m., I was like, JB, I have had it. I am, I, I'm exhausted at this point. I don't know why you're acting like this. He just wouldn't listen. My man wants cereal. You can't have cereal. Um, then I can I have some chocolate? Like, he must have asked me that 15 freaking times, y'all. And again, this is the behavior he, he was doing. And this is not like JB, that this type of behavior is not. When he wakes up this morning, I will be having a talk with him. And when my husband gets his ass up, I'm gonna let him know, you need to talk to this child. No hit, no any. Look, one of my, um, some people, black people, we really do need to reevaluate some of us, our disciplinary. There's a difference between discipline and um, 
abuse. When my girlfriend was here from Trinidad, and again, not every not every black person is like this, but when my girlfriend was here from Trinidad and JB kept doing little shit, and at that age, I would, um, yeah, I, I would, when I would take stuff away, that was it. And she was like, oh no. She said, when I was his age, I remember I talked back so bad. He wasn't even talking back. What did she say? I talked back so bad. My grandmother beat me so bad I couldn't walk for three days. I'm like, I'm not trying to beat my child to where he can't walk. Are you serious? You know, you have to tailor. Um, everybody's different. You have to tailor your parenting based on their child. Every, every child is different. Every family. Look, when I was growing up, just the mere fact of my parents threatening to hit me, I was straighten up. But my sister, oh no. Yeah, my sister got a spanking every day. And it really, it didn't do any good for her. It really didn't. Because she kept doing the same stuff every day. Every, and I mean up until she was a teenager. Yeah, my parents, they tried, but y'all, mm -mm. But with me, I was like, cool, I see that. And you threatening me verbatim. You, you, that's all you got to do, mama. I'm, I'm good. Well, that's still yeah, it looks like something's going on today. Nothing. Then what are these booths for? Tommy Bahamas. No one here used to work at Blockbuster. I'm very sure of it. You want to swing? I know. <laughs> I do have a nice angle of you. Ha ha ha! 